of study was science and I went to Manchester College and had a triple major and then earned a Bachelor of Arts degree. Triple major was in physics, mathematics, and chemistry. And then I went to graduate school at Purdue University where I earned a master's degree in physics. I went to a job fair and interviewed six companies and they all offered me a job. I chose to work at the Patel Memorial Institute in Columbus, Ohio in 1953. I worked there five and a half years and I wrote a number of research papers and several, I got several patents. And at the end of five and a half years, I was asked by MIT's Lincoln Laboratory if I knew of anybody that was interested in a research job. And I said, yes, I know of one, me. And so I accepted a job at MIT Lincoln Laboratory. And I started to work there January 1st of 1959. And I worked there full time 50 years. I retired and worked a few years beyond that. At Lincoln Laboratory, I earned a few more patents and ended up with nine patents. But the best one of all was a patent on thermal electricity and it is to this day known as the Harmon Method. Sixty years later, people are still writing research papers about it and referencing it many times. I was inspired by Albert Einstein in my, after my junior year of high school and I thought of writing him a letter and I got halfway done and decided he would never read it, so I stopped. I had a small chemistry lab in my house that I lived in and I mixed chemicals and uh, extracted new compounds, new to me, but not new to the professionals. My family encouraged me to uh, get an education, work hard at my studies, and uh, encouraged me to go to college. I was the first member of my family to get a bachelor's degree and the first member of my family to get a master's degree as a senior in college, I had a senior project of measuring the oxidation of silver, and I did that. My uh, chemistry professors were so impressed, they wanted me to go to Ohio State to get a PhD in chemistry. But my physics professor wanted me to go to Purdue and get a PhD in physics. So since Purdue was close to my home, I was born in Warsaw, Indiana. So I ch chose to go to Purdue and studied the uh, micro hardness of molybdenum. I did that for almost a year and a half and then I wrote my thesis and my chairman of the physics department said that I should go on for a PhD, but I'd already interviewed a company in Columbus, Ohio that I liked. My crowning achievement was the invention of the Harmon method for measuring the the goodness of thermoelectric materials. 
with what measurement one could measure the figure of merit of the Roger materials. And that was a big breakthrough over the previous technique of measuring three different properties somewhat difficult to measure. I got married in 1957 and my wife and I had four children, Elizabeth, Janet, Catherine, and Thomas. And they had five children, so I have five grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. One of my hobbies was running. I started training for the Morrison Marathon, but after seven miles, I developed plantar fasciitis. So my podiatrist told me to get a shot of cortisone, which he, which he gave me, and then walk a whole year so I did that. I, fortunately, my house in Lexington was only a mile and a half from Lincoln Laboratory where I worked. So I would go in the morning, walk to work carrying my briefcase, and then late in the afternoon, I would walk home carrying my briefcase. And I did that for a whole year, and my plantar fasciitis went away. So then I decided to lower my sights and just run five miles on April 19, it's Patriots Day race. And so I did that about eight times. My crowning achievement was in 1988. I was 84 years old and I was ran five miles in less than 90 minutes. And in the 100 year history of the Patriots Day race, no other person could do, did that, so I hold the record for running five miles in under 90 minutes. I would say uh, my legacy is the uh, 150 research papers that I wrote and uh, have been referenced over 1,500 times, and uh, of course my family. I think the key to getting a good job is education. Go as far as you can go and go from there. And work hard at your first job and other jobs if possible. If I had to summarize my life's work in one word, it would be dedication. I would like to be remembered as a scientist who dedicated his life to electronic materials. Oh, and being a runner and running five miles in under 90 minutes.